So let's uh, let's jump right into the the sparrow racing. Very excited to talk about this. Sean, Fran, what do you guys think? I think it's a lot of fun. It's a nice change of pace. Uh, mm-hmm. I think after spending about a week playing it, uh, it's not as like it doesn't have as much longevity as I'd hope, which is fine because mm-hmm. it's only a three week event at least for now. But like it kind of it's cool because it takes you away from like the shooting mechanics, which are the best part of Destiny, and adds in a little bit n- of a new dynamic with racing. And I think that's just that's a lot of fun, and it's super fun to like actually drive around i don't know if you guys are ever out in the overworld these days but like most the the most fun part about driving around on mars and uh venus and all the other planets is just like running around and kind of you know speeding around corners and kind of doing that stuff Mm -hmm. it's that's the best part and now we have that in like a competitive mode i think it's cool yeah definitely fran how do you like it yeah i you know, I didn't know what to think going in. It was something we all asked for. Yeah. And then I'm like, wow, they actually did it and it's yeah. significant. It's not, you know, at first I thought it would be some checkpoint thing that they just add to the overworld and you can hop in and out or mm-hmm. something and just have some fun. As it turned out, they built custom tracks. Yeah. Um, you can only play two, there are only two, two right yeah. now, right? Mm-hmm. So you, you should go back and forth between them. Um, so yeah, like initial impressions, because th- then I got really hyped up. They're like, oh, they built it. Uh, the controls are gonna be, different and improved you're going to be sliding yeah. around corners like wipe out and i'm thinking f0 gx and yeah wipe out's fantastic um yeah of course not so quite, getting, not quite wipe out. but i yeah. also know look is it is a shooting engine it's a shooting yeah. game and so where i'm going with this is i think they did a great job considering mm-hmm. that it is you know not it a is racing a, game. yeah and the yeah. sparrows always felt good but yeah. it's not for racing so they did a good job of putting in you know those gates that keep you moving uh-huh. that was a good solution i think to yeah to solve for the fact that it's just not incredibly fast sparrows and Mm -hmm. but that's where i think they could go with with sparrow racing is you know all the sparrows seem to be the same speed right now um you got to use the gates yeah but cornering and stuff like that is not as subtle as in most racing games but again i think that's what they've done in this world is more than you could have asked for um and it's a free update within the taking king and so that part's cool um for me though it really is reminding me that I'm missing, you know, when is Iron Banner coming? Well, yeah, coming. yeah we know it's coming next week. Yeah, it's next still week, coming, think, yeah. and I'm waiting on it, and I'm always waiting for trials to hit on the weekend, and the raid challenges have been a nice addition, but my point is, yeah, and we'll talk about it later. I'm like, man, we need updates for this game. Yeah, definitely. Like, I'm having some fun, but I'm just not going to play a ton of Sparrow Racing. I did get the record book, uh, which you can buy from the Eververse and everything. Only $10. Um, well, it's, yeah. it's a pricey did one. Not get yeah. That one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I have to for the show. So I was mm-hmm. like, I bought it. Um, but anyway, so I think they did a great job with it. It's a lot of fun, but as a racer in and of itself, could use a ton of improvements. But I also want to be, again, objective that like, hey, they did a great job with what they have. Yeah. So what do you think? So I'll start with my positive thoughts. Uh, this is really cool. It's really fun to hop in there with your Sparrow and kind of like mess with the other players. And it's it's a cool, like two tracks, each are pretty unique and like uh, offer a different set of challenges. I really like Infinite Descent that you're always going down, you know, beca- and then the portal brings you back to the top yeah. and you continue descending. Um, yeah, good, sh- some good shortcuts hidden in there and stuff. Like yeah, that, definitely. That's what, that's a, lot cool. of, a lot of the pro players are saying like the shortcuts don't really help though. The pro Sparrow players? Yeah, the, the pro Sparrow. So the wow, people, are they, there's already like these elite Sparrow racers, mm-hmm. really? The people that have just been playing a whole bunch, uh, they're like, ah, they don't really seem to help that much, but I don't know. I'll leave that to my own so like, uh, decision <laughs> once I get more time with it. Yeah. I, I actually really like the mode. I think it's pretty solid. Uh, the sparrows control pretty well. Yeah. Uh, the horns are fun. The my character horn. looks incredibly stupid with that new armor on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Cause the racing just, armor looks funny. Because like you have like half this badass like raid armor, and then the other half is like skin, skin tight. tight, like latex <laughs> right, yeah. kind of like brightly colored stuff. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's it, it looks a little was, goofy. It might have been CJ or somebody. He had like these purple leotard pants that he yeah. got in addition. Don't judge. To, that he was wearing like the banner <laughs> wolf uh, oh, know, cloak. Yeah. <laughs> it just looked absurd. So he'd be hopping on his bike. And it's it's kind of fun actually to see it. You, But you're right. You need to wear a full pair of armor and earn it. Otherwise you look set. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, but I am excited. There's a bunch of new looking armor and stuff mm-hmm. like that. The is, new looking sparrows look really good And too. the sparrows look awesome. Yeah. And that's an easy thing to forget is that they didn't just give you a couple tracks to play and yeah. have some fun with sparrows. They new gave sparrows, you a bunch horns, of new, gear. new shaders. 
Yeah. yeah, and the new shader. So actually, that is, is significant. And you know, now that I'm saying it, it's easy to overlook. Like, wait a sec, we got a bunch of like cool gear, yeah. you know, options to play with yeah. there. So I think that's great. Uh, we brought it up earlier. I do have to kind of talk about uh, something I really don't like about this event, and it is that record book that we brought up before. It is ten dollars, and this is a limited three week event. That really bothers me. That you're dropping real money to get uh, bonus rewards from this game, and they're literally going to take it away from you. Like, you will have that record book, but you won't be able to Sparrow Race anymore. So well, until the next event. They haven't so, confirmed that they're going to continue the event, though. They no, said if right. people like it, so, we'll continue it. People do like it, but, I mean, it's going to be up to Bungie arbitrarily if they bring it back or not. So I think your point is very warranted. It is a risk that you're going to buy something mm -hmm. that you need to put on that filter. I may only be getting this for three weeks. Yeah. But it's your choice. Yep. So that's why I think it's it's too easy to judge, well, oh, if it never happens, it's totally not worth the money. Mm -hmm. Well, what if that record book now exists for the next five years? I, like, it's, yeah. you, you know, they're, they're gonna have new record books, I, everyone. It's just a book, <laughs> though. A new yeah. book, though, that's $10. It just seems it's very, steep. very pricey. It's steep. Like, I think that book should have been like two ninety nine tops, but 10 but is the, just so uh, hefty. There's a lot of gears and stuff that's coming out of it, though. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what you're buying. You're not buying it. A also, call it 15,000 Glimmer. Yeah. Let yeah, us use silver. Glimmer. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let right. us use Glimmer. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then also, uh, <laughs> there was a glitch when it launched where people could just inspect the book and turn it in for rewards, yeah. so you didn't even need to buy yeah, it. Yeah, you could go they preview. They fixed it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was, that was, it was yeah. doing your challenges in the, the preview window. You could just yeah. go in and they fixed and it get really the quick, obviously. Yeah, but uh, a lot of people felt really burned for dropping the cash on, on this thing. And then... Uh, because of the bug or because... Because of, of the bug. Okay. So they're like, come yeah, on, like sure. I spent $10 on this and people are getting the rewards for free? That's true. And people have you know. been reaching out to Bungie for mm -hmm. potential, you know... Um, getting like your money back, and I haven't sort. heard of that, but mm -hmm. do that if you really feel yeah. that way. But they also patched it pretty quickly that yeah. I think uh, relax a little bit. Yeah. Like the entire community did not, you know, some people cheated it, yeah. but they fixed it pretty fast. My second problem is again with the Eververse Trading Company, people know that I don't really like this system, but I really don't like that it's a random chance at a sparrow. If I'm spending five dollars, it's five dollars for a random chance at a random sparrow, I should be able to what, pick what sparrow I get. Like, I, I want the fire sparrow. I will pay five dollars for that. True. You know, it's it's like you get five dollars to gamble for a chance at a sparrow that you like. It's a, just a really weird system that I don't like well, it that, at all. It, you've used the exact right words, and RNG is uh, gambling is basically yeah. like you not, you don't know what you're gonna get. You might get the same poll you got last time at the slots. Yeah. But yeah, now you're actually putting money in the slot machine and that's your point you might end up i'm okay with rng because yeah. that's kind of one right. of the basis of destiny and a lot of mmos and rpgs in general which is fine but when you're putting money in that changes the yeah. game like it shouldn't yeah. be as random at least like, no. so a little yeah random. you literally are gambling yeah. now and yeah like mm -hmm. you already did this with the uh festival of the, the, lost, festival to the lost to get the, the blue skull oh, i yeah. needed two masks that i never got <laughs> well, no, I didn't do it for the skull. I got that like my first package. Oh, um, but I, I needed I needed the Crypt Dark Mask, which I never got, yeah. and I needed one of the other random ones to finish the bounties. Like and Aris just, or Atheon. And I'm like, I'm not going to spend any more money on this because... Did you end up dropping whatever. like 40 bucks on it? Well, IGN did, and yeah. I was never able to get the videos up of the, Video of the mask things. I Thanks, video expense. team. Yeah. <laughs> I put yeah. expense reports. Yeah. Um, I was like, uh, you're going to use my account next time yeah. when you roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's a bummer, and I don't think it's a good system for the consumer. You know, it's really anti-consumer, and I, I don't like that. You know, I don't think it's anti-consumer, but I will say, given yeah, the 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 needs of okay, I want to have some fun, I want to get really cool gear, and now you're paying for it. You do make a very good point, which is like you might just be rolling like twenty five bucks to get yeah. the one thing you care about. Yeah, that is that does need. They I don't need to take a look at that. Yeah. I'm on your side. I don't think it's anti-consumer because the way I've played it is I don't buy anything. Yeah. Like I didn't even spend the 400 silver they gave me just for free at the yeah. beginning because I don't care. I don't do any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And you have that choice in Sparrow Racing. You can just play it and you can kind of do things at your own leisure and kind of do the bounties and not buy the book and not kind of go for after any of the extra sparrows and you'll still get those drops just not as quickly. And Two their, sparrows not gonna make clown noises, man. Yeah. How to their to their it? credit, is that <laughs> worth five dollars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to their credit, it's not like tied clouds. to any bounties <laughs> this week. So I, I will give them that. But I, I just don't like that. You're spending real money to 
get something that you're going to dismantle. But yeah. Like, I, but, I got a sparrow that's total garbage, and I spent $5 on yeah. it. Yeah, I think that know. is a very valid point. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they're still going to fall back and like, look, it's completely yeah. your choice. You know how it works. Yep. Yeah. Um, but you're right. Like, you are spending money, and it is the exact value of a dollar. And yeah. so when you get something that you just didn't want, it's kind of like, yeah. yeah it, it, I mean, it really is exactly like either playing the slots or like those, you know, machines where you just, uh, the old school machines, you put the coin in and mm-hmm. something falls out. Yeah. But like, it's not, it's almost never what you want. They <laughs> yeah. don't put the good stuff up top. Yeah. Um, Thank you. It'd be better if they implemented a system where you like drop the coin in and now you have to like drop a claw down into a random thing and try and pick up the <laughs> exactly. one you want. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pull it out. New <laughs> minigame in Destiny <laughs> confirmed. Yeah. Uh, final final thoughts for Oh, crap, it just keeps falling. It's never going to get out of there. Final thoughts before we move on from Sparrow Racing. Uh, Thumbs up for listening to fans. Thank you so much for making Sparrow Racing. It is a fantastic little thing that you did for fans. Mm -hmm. Uh, Still questionable on the microtransactions. I feel like that needs to be revisited and and touched up. That's my personal final thoughts. Uh, I think it's fun to play. It's a great change of pace. Uh, I could have dealt with one more map, one more track. Yeah. Three is a good number. Three is a good number. Yeah. Brand? Uh... Yeah, I was just thinking about the, the multiple track stuff and I would have more to say about that. But again, great addition, yeah. good execution, more than I expected, but man, it, it is really just illustrating and I already had that feeling like we need more content. That's part of what we're gonna talk about today. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, it's double feelings.